All right, welcome back to the K Dog Poker Vlog. It is now day 11 of the bankroll challenge, going from 1 2 to 1025 in just two months. The past week has been not eventful at all, just exactly break even. Uh, I'll post the total of the challenge right here. Remember, we need to make 5K to move up to 25. I need to get up to 25 as soon as possible. I don't want to get stuck here. And yeah, the past seven days just made like no progress at all. Been set under set a couple times. That always sucks. But this weekend could be a big one. I'm going to Dallas right now. Let's have a day. Yeah, let's go get it. We start with pocket eights in the small blind, a powerful holding. There's a raise to $15 and three of us make the call. So four of us will see the flop. It's five, five, four with two clubs. Pretty good. We've still got an over pair. We check it over to the original razor. He checks two, but the button doesn't check. He bets $30. I think about raising, but I think that'll put us in some dicey situations. I just make the call. The other two guys fold and we see the deuce of hearts come out on the turn. Really good card, really safe card. I check again and he bets again, $45 pretty small in comparison to the size of the pot. I think about raising here to protect my hand and honestly I probably should but I decided to just make the call and we see the ace of spades come out on the end. Not my favorite card but the flush draws do miss. I check it over to him and he bets again $75. Well, I don't think he'd take this size with a five or a straight. I think he would bet bigger with those hands. This seems more like an ace or nothing, and I'm not sure if he would bet an ace in this situation, but I'm gonna find out. I flick in the chips and he says, you're good. Don't I know it, brother. Then we get king eight of spades. Same guy from last hand raises a 10. I love playing spades aggressively, so I raise it up to $35 and he makes the call. Go into a flop, pretty deep here. It's a dry one. Queen three, deuce, rainbow. He checks, I'll continue for a small size here. $25, he makes the call. Turns a jack, he checks again, I'm gonna bet again. $85 this time. He doesn't waste too much time, he makes the call. All right, final card is a three, he checks. Well, what would I do if I had pocket kings here? I think I would bet $270. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I bet $270 and he snap folds. Love seeing a snap fold, no sweat, just pick up the pot. Then we get pocket kings for real this time. Well, acted like I had pocket kings last time. This time we get them for real. Again, there's a raise and I three bet. This time the small blind cold calls while the original razor folds. So didn't really expect this. Think this guy probably has like pocket tens, pocket nines, stuff like that most of the time. Well, when you're holding pocket kings, you know what the flop's gonna bring, an ace. And in my case, two aces. Not my favorite thing, but when he checks, I think we can still get at least one straight of value. I bet small, $35, and he raises the 75. Don't like this at all, but for this small sizing, I'll peel one. I make the call. Turn doesn't help us at all. He carves out another bet, and at this point, I'm pretty sure he's got an ace, so I make the fold, and he's nice enough to show us ace-king suited, so I'm glad he didn't four bet preflop because would have lost a lot more money, but man, can kings hold ever? Feels like the past week or so, none of my big pockets are holding up. Maybe that's about to change though. A very aggressive loose player joins the table now. He's gonna be our Mr. Action for this episode. And when he raises and I've got pocket jacks, of course I'm gonna three bet. He makes the call and through a series of bets and wagers, we're gonna end up losing the 10 deuce suited. Lost a couple hundred dollars here. Yeah, I guess big pockets just don't hold for me anymore ever. They don't even need an over card. 10 deuce will work just fine. We call a raise with 10 of clubs. So does the button. Small blind action player. He's gonna min raise up to 30. Seen him do this a few times now. I think he likes to take control of the pots this way. Definitely something to look out for. Definitely something I'm gonna try to take advantage of later, but not with the 10 8. The three of us all just call the extra $15 and we're gonna go four ways to a flop of king 9 7. All right, so open ender for us. There is a flush route there though. Not super great. Action is gonna check all the way to the button and he bets really Really small $30 small blind the original razor makes the call I'm gonna call two for this price turn is a deuce brings in a second flush draw action checks to the button again and he bets 30 again small blind folds which I'm surprised with and yeah for this price I guess I will see a river I make the call it's an offsuit eight so we're probably losing here I just check it over to him and then he bets small again man $50 this guy is trying to milk me I know my eight isn't good I know I can't win by calling obviously I can't win by folding there's really only one option here I go all in and he goes into the tank this isn't like the last bluff where the guy just snap folded. This time we really got to sweat it. He goes through the motions. He thinks, he thinks, he thinks for a while, but finally he lays it down. 
Let's go. Got one through. That'll teach him for trying to milk me. Let's build off of this momentum. Well, that momentum doesn't come. I make kind of a kamikaze bluff with queen high on the flop against the action player, thinking that he's c-betting just way too much and I can kind of pick it up right there. Nope, he snap all ins on me. I gotta fold my queen high. And then soon after, I get it all in against a short stack with ace king. Pretty good situation, right? Hopefully he doesn't have a pair. Hopefully he's got like king queen or king 10. Nope, he's got aces. So yeah, we're pretty much dead and the run out brings no help. So now I'm down to like 250 bucks. I raise it up with ace nine. Action man, three bets. He's been three betting like crazy. Crazy. I don't want to call with this hand. It doesn't play well post flop. So I'm just going to put in my 250. He makes the call. Run out comes King Jack 7. That's a bad flop. Turns a 9. That could be good. River's a queen. Probably not good. And he's got King Queen offsuit. He's going to get me here. <sighs> Dealer, call the chip runner. I got a rebuy. All right. Well, let's try to get it back. I raise up 10-7 of clubs under the gun and immediately wonder why I do this to myself. I know that the action player is going to three bet me a lot of the times here and 10-7 is not even that good. No chart says to open this. I just, I don't know, man. I can't stop playing like this. Anyways, I raise it up and thankfully he doesn't three bet. He just makes the call. The blind's called too. So we're going to go four ways to a flop and well, 10-7 sevens not considered a great hand, but when the flops, 9-8-6 rainbow, it's very above average actually action checks to me i want to kind of bait the action man to bet i just check he bets 20 dollars about half the pot both the blinds call now when they both call i don't really want to slow play anymore i'm going to put in a small raise kind of reopen the action hope for another raise i make it 50 dollars no raise comes two of the players make the call including our man so we're gonna go three ways to a turn it's a safe one it's a four actually gives me a flush draw too big blind checks to me i bet a hundred dollars this time still kind of playing it slow right not betting huge don't want to scare anybody away again both players make the call a lot of money in the pot already river is safe it's an offsuit deuce checks to me there's a lot of money in the pot i've got about 300 dollars behind no other move to make here besides go all in action man snap calls like he beats me into the pot so <laughs> we're definitely gonna get at least 300 here and the other players think about it too so wow i might get called in two spots and after thinking for a good while the big blind calls with what he says is two pair we show our straight and we are definitely good. We get a full triple up and now we're up on the game. Things can change so, so fast. This is why you always raise 10-7 of clubs under the gun. So our action player started the game with $300, very quickly got it up to what looked like almost $2,000, which is crazy, but now has it down to about $700. When I pick up pocket aces and I three bet him, and before I can even set my camera up, all his chips are in the middle. I snap call, let's go, let's see a run out. Oh, shit. Oh, well, all right. For the vlog. Oh, oh you're wow. kidding. Wow. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> he has aces too what shortly after somebody else felt him with pocket kings so mr action's out and now the same player that busted him three bets me up when i've got ace queen suited could definitely four bet here but the way we were talking like right before this hand i don't think he's doing this light i think he's got something at least as good as my hand so i'm gonna under up my hand a little bit i just make the call we see a flop with an ace on it but three diamonds i never seem to play the monotone boards very well but maybe things will change here i check he bets small nothing to do here but call Try doesn't really change anything i check he bets small again if he bet bigger i would consider folding but for this price i'm happy to see a river it's not a diamond so if we were good before we're still good now i check hoping he checks back if he bets big i'm for sure gonna fold nope he bets really small again it's 125 dollars not a lot compared to the size of the pot and at the time i was thinking maybe i could still beat some value Maybe he could still have a bluff, but when you think about it, he's not going to bet anything worse than ace queen here. I think he just checks back ace 10, and if he's not bluffing, then I just lose. And it looks a lot like ace king when he plays it this way. I should really probably fold, but I don't. I make the call, and he doesn't have ace king. He has king queen of diamonds for the stone cold nuts. <sighs> Nice hand. I get out of there shortly after. I actually end up losing $9 on this session. The most fun you can have losing $9. I can't believe after that huge triple up, I don't even make money. This is what I'm saying. Over the past week or so, I'm just stuck, man. I can't go anywhere. 
Now, while I was playing that session, somebody told me about a place called the Fort Card Room out in Fort Worth, Texas. It's about an hour away from me. Apparently, there's a lot of good low stakes action. I make the drive over there the next morning. Let's see how it goes. All right, so we get in there and right away I notice there's some pretty deep stacks. Half the table seems to have a thousand dollars or more in front of them. And the buy-in here is pretty much uncapped. You can buy in for 75% of the largest stack. So you can see how people get deep really quickly and there's potential for some huge, huge pots. The first hand we get here is king queen in the small blind. There's a raise, a call. I could three bet here, but I don't really wanna blow it up the pot with king queen offsuit. I just make the call and three nines come out on the flop. Action checks all the way around. King high could be good here. Jack comes on the turn. I want to fold out ace highs. I'm going to take control here. I make a bet. The original Razor makes the call while the other player folds. Final card's a six. I really doubt King high is good here. I'm pretty sure he has ace high and he should fold if I bet again. So I bet $80 and it's no sweat. He calls right away. So we lose. He got King Jack. So he got me on the turn there. Maybe I should have three bet preflop to get him out of there. Oh well. I bought in this game for about $500 and haven't won a pot yet. So after that hand, I'm down to 200. I'm getting ready to rebuy, but then here comes a bomb pot hand. So here everybody puts in $5 and we go to two boards of PLO. I guess I'll rebuy after this hand. Don't want this to get too, too crazy. I am on the button though, but I get a really bad starting hand, Jack-8-7-3. Getting really tough to win one, let alone two boards with this one. But the flops are pretty good. Jack-3 deuce with two hearts. We do have a small heart draw there on the first board. And then 10-8-8 rainbow on the second board. So we got trips there. Hopefully nobody's got 10-8 or God forbid pocket 10s. Action checks to me. I'm just going to go ahead and pot this thing. $40 and two players make the call. Now there's about $160 in there. And guess what I've got in my stack? $160. Turns come, deuce on the first one, don't like that, and a three on the second one, so we fill up there. When they check to me, I don't think I can do anything else but just go all in. First player thinks for a while, but ends up making the call, and the second player folds, saying she's got a flush draw. Rivers come, four of hearts on the first one, so we do hit a flush there, but I'm not super confident about it. And another three on the second board. Should be good there. We show, and actually we're gonna scoop the whole thing. He didn't have a super strong hand he had a jack on the first board and a flusher on the second one so got it in pretty good there and now we're pretty much back to even so no need to rebuy pick up ace queen ace queen didn't go so well for me last time doesn't look like it's gonna go that well for me this time either i hit nothing but i'm gonna try to represent this king on the turn i bet my opponent makes the call river doesn't change a lot i'm gonna fire again maybe i shouldn't because this is the same guy from the last hand and from what i've seen he does not like to fold easily Either way though, my chips are already in there. Let's hope he folds, and this time we do get it through. So bluffs are going pretty well this episode. And then we get a monster. Pocket kings, big pockets haven't been going that well for me lately. That's definitely not gonna stop me from playing them. There's a raise, I'm gonna three bet. A player in the blinds cold calls. There's a lot of cold calling so far in this game. I guess it makes sense because a lot of players are really deep. They feel like they can maybe open up their game a little bit. Not totally sure, but something I've seen a lot of so far. So a player cold calls, the original raiser calls too. So we're gonna go three ways, so a pretty good board. Jack four, four, rainbow. And the other the gun player is actually gonna lead out here for $50, not totally sure what to make of this but i think it's probably like pocket eights pocket nines maybe a jack i think it's better to try to fast play my hand and see if we'll go with it now i raise it up to 150 but he doesn't think for too long before making the fold so no value for us this time but hey at least pocket kings held for once right we got ace king on the button there's a raise and a bunch of callers perfect perfect squeeze spot we raise big and we get three callers so four ways to a flop a lot of money in the middle already definitely want to see an ace or a king out there we don't see any of that it's eight seven four action checks to me so at least i get to see a free turn definitely not gonna bet into three people here i check it back turn brings no help it's a six we're probably drawing dead at this point there's some action in front of us i get out of the way and although the board sucked for us it wasn't true for everybody one player's got a set and the other one's got pocket fives and they play a pretty big one here with a straight being the winner so good for him not a ton of action for me at the fort but there definitely was action at the table i just wasn't really part of it uh maybe they all think i'm a nit because i didn't play any huge huge pots over the course of like five hours there but over 
overall, I had fun there. Kind of sucks to drive an hour each way and not get too, too much action, but definitely a cool little room. I would definitely check it out if you're in the Fort Worth area. I'll probably be back there at some point, but in this case, we book a small win. So again, pretty much like breaking even. That's just been the story for me this past week. I win a big pot, I lose one back. Lose one, get it back. So not a ton of progress on the challenge. Let's head to the outro. Okay, so final tally so far, we're almost two weeks into this challenge and here is the total. So very, very little difference between this and the last episode. And there's more than a week between those times. So yeah, it's been pretty frustrating. Just haven't been able to get much going, man. I've been cooler like two or three times real bad. At least we had that 10-7 hand. If I didn't play that hand, I don't know what would have happened because we needed that for sure. That was a big, big triple up. My mission, my absolute mission is this week we'll get out of 1-2. So the next video, the one that will be up next week, I'm going to be finishing up 1-2. So I don't know how many hours of play it's going to take, but I'm going to do it, man, because we can't spend a whole month at 1-2. It just It'll make it too tough to make... 20k or whatever at 2.5 in just one month we need more time so i gotta get out of one two the next video my mission is to do that so that's when i'll see you next time i wish you good luck at the tables even better luck in your personal life and most of all i wish that you would subscribe to the k-dog poker vlog and i'll see you next time take care